difficult subject and whether you were trying to do justice. Um, well, actually, to be honest with you, it wasn't stressful. It was more there's a responsibility that comes with making a film about something so sensitive. But in fact, my way into it was the psychology and the emotional life of the characters as opposed to the politics. And in that respect, um, I can be sure, more sure about those things than I can about the minutiae of the political situation. So clearly, um, it wasn't stressful. In fact, it was, a, it was one of those films that was a pleasure to make because I had great actors and a great crew around me. Um, but I was aware of the responsibilities of working in that area. But Every film we make has responsibilities and sensitivities, and you just have to be alive to them and uh, tell your story as well you can. That's all you can do, really. And how would you say your film is different because there's so many films on that subject? Well, actually, there isn't. Um, given the nature of the conflict and how long it lasted, there's actually surprisingly few films about Northern. I think we all shied away from it. There's so much on the news and in our faces. And so now, when there is, appears like there's a kind of you know, a, a, a certain amount of stability in Northern Ireland. It feels like one is able to go back and look at some of these really intriguing stories that that conflict threw up. And uh, in one review I read that it was uh, compared to Steve McQueen's Hunger. Well, I think they're very different films. I mean, that's focused on one character, and it's a very, that's a very, very, a very, very particular, specific film about that, that character, whereas ours is about a female, a, a woman's perspective. We think it's important. That perspective on the story is one that I was very happy to embrace the female view. It's about a mother who happens to be in this situation as opposed to the other way around. And to me it seems like a film about loyalty. Oh, loyalty and betrayal. The other side of loyalty is what, what, it, what is it like to betray the thing that you believe in when you have a good reason to do it. If you're a mother, what's your choice, your son or your beliefs? And that's what's so extraordinary about the dilemma that the character faces in the film. So that again is something that's human and universal, not particular to that time and place. And was the first incentive for you to make a film when you saw the script? Yes, absolutely. Tom's script was very interesting to me for that reason alone, as the psychology of it was interesting. Again, the politics of it, I'm not the person qualified to talk about that. I'm a dramatist, I'm a filmmaker, I'm not a politician or a moralist. But I was very intrigued by the psychology of the situation, the dilemmas of betraying your own flesh and blood, what that would be like, how that would feel. Um, and Andrea Riseborough, you know, I, I cast was very sensitive to those things too. I think she d does a beautiful performance on that basis of understanding that woman's particular predicament. And uh, how was your relationship with, uh, with the writer? Tom, um, Tom, where is he? Pretty good. Um, no, it was great. It was, a very, it was a big collaboration. I mean, Tom wrote a novel, then wrote the screenplay based on his novel. And I came and we worked together to try and extract you know, a slightly tighter film out of the script I first read. And so we worked together a lot on that. And we had a very collaborative, relationship that carried on and through the editing until the finished film was finished. I wanted to know what his, his view of the film was and so it was very ongoing and very collaborative and I think very fruitful for both of us. Thank you so much. Congratulations.